So we continue looking at the sales deal book and today we're going to look at some examples. So we have this example, the following transactions were obtained from the books of Sevier in the month of September of 2005. So we have September 2005. So the first transaction reads, sold goods on credit to Daliso, amounting to 145 kwacha, sales invoice 150. Then on the 15th, credit sales to Triza, amounting to 50 kwacha, sales invoice 153. Then on the 16th, sold goods to John on credit, amounting to 200 kwacha, sales invoice 155. On the 27th, sold goods to Davis on credit amounting to 250 kwacha, sales invoice 156. So you are required, Roman numero 1, prepare a sales deal book from the above transaction and post to the personal accounts. Roman numero 2, transfer the total of the sales account in the general ledger. So the first thing that we are going to do is to prepare uh, the sales deal book for Savior. So the first thing is to put up the title. So I've already written the title there. As you can see, the title reads, Sevier's Sales Deal Book for the month of September of 2005. So that's the first thing that we are we're going to do. And we are going to start recording the transactions. So before we record the transactions, we know that uh, the year is 2005. So we can put up our 2005 there. Then I can put up the currency that we are using. We are using Quacha. So I can put K in the column of invoice total. So the first transaction reads, sold goods on credit to Daliso amounting to 145 Quacha sales invoice 150. So the date there, we know that's our first of September. So we are going to show that. Then in the details there, we're going to be writing down the names of the customers. So the first customer there is Daliso. So we're going to say Daliso. Then in the uh, the invoice number column there, we know that the sales invoice have been given as 150. So we're going to say 150. Then in the folio there, we're going to write down the ledger where it's going to. So the ledger where it's going to uh, is the sales ledger. So we're going to say SL. And the figure, we know that's 145. Then the second transaction occurred on the 15th. Credit sales to Triza amounting to 50. Quacha sales invoice 153. So I'll say 15th. Of September there so in, in the details column we're going to say Triza the invoice number it's 153 then it's going to the sales ledger there the amount is 50 quacha then on the 16th sold goods to John on credit amounting to 200 quacha sales invoice 155 so say 16th of September there. Now a details column say John. The invoice number is 155. Then this is going to be shown in the sales ledger. The amount is 200 kwacha. Then on the 27th of September, sold goods to Davis on credit amounting to 250 kwacha sales invoice 156 so we are going to say davis there in the details column the invoice number it's 156 then we say sales ledger there then the uh, our total there it's 250 so as you can see the transactions are done so we are going to find the total so we're going to say 145 plus 50 plus 200 plus 250 our answer there is going to be 645 and this 645 is going to be recorded at the end of the month so we're going to say 31st of september there 
then we'll say total credit sales so total credit sales and this is going to be shown in the general ledger so we're going to show the amount of 645 in the general ledger and that shows total credit sales so that's how you can write down uh, the sales day book for the month of uh, September for the year 2005 for Sylvia where you have questions please ask in the group so we have we have just answered the first part and if you look at our Loma number one it said prepare a sales day book from the above transactions which we have done but the second question reads post to the personal accounts so we are supposed to post in the personal accounts and we are going to do that by writing down the sales ledger and uh, we said in our discussions that uh, in the sales ledger the personal accounts they are going to be debited each and every personal account for the customer is going to is going to be debited with a certain amount so let us show that in the sales ledger so we have our sales ledger so we are going to start with daliso so we are going to put our year there 2005 we're going to put our currency there so like the first transaction if we look at the first transaction it reads sold goods and credit to daliso amounting to 145 sales invoice 150 and if we check in our sales day book you know sales day book we only have uh, the details for daily so it, uh, it's only appearing once so it means we're going to get our 145 as our final figure that we're going to transfer in the sales ledger so we're going to say the date there is first of September then we'll say sales in the account of Delhi, so we're going to debit it with 145. And this is this is the only transaction which occurred. That means that we can balance up this account. And to balance up this account, we know that we're going to find our total. So our total there is going to be 145, and there 145. So we can say our balance carried down is going to be shown on the credit side as 145 then the balance brought down is going to be shown on the debit side as 145 let us look at uh, the other transaction so the other transaction occurred on the 15th of September and that was the transaction for Treza so we have the account for trees are there and since uh trees had only one transaction that means that we are going to put up the amount as 50 kwacha this is because that's the only amount of goods that we are sold to trees so we are going to put up our our year there which is 2005 put our k there our k and that occurred on the 15th of september so we are going to say going to say sales and that amount amounted to 50 kwacha and this is this is the only transaction which occurred we can balance up this account so we say balance carry it down and we say balance brought down so our total there we're going to have 50 kwacha on the debit side and 50 kwacha on the credit side our balance credit down is going to be shown on the credit side as 50 and the broad down is going to be shown on the debit side as 50. let us look at another transaction so another transaction occurred on the 16th so it goes to john on credit amounting to 200 kwacha sales invoice 155 and since this is the only transaction that we had for john that means that we only have one transaction and we are just going to show 200 kwacha in the account for john so let us write down that 
So we're going to say the year 2005. Say Kwacha there. Kwacha. Then the date is 16th of September. We we'll say sales. Then we're going to debit the account for John with 200 Kwacha. So we're going to find our total there. So our total, we're going to have 200 on the debit side and 200 on the credit side. And we're going to find our balance carried down. So we're going to have balance carried down will be shown on the credit side. Then the balance spread down is going to be shown on the debit side as 200. Let us look at another transaction. Action on the 27th, so it goes to Davis on credit amount into 250 sales invoice 156. And since this is the only transaction that occurred for Davis, that means we only have one amount, and that amount is 250. So we are just going to show 250 in the account for Davis. So the first thing that we're going to do is to write down the year. So 2005, we're going to put our quacha there, our quacha there. Then uh, we know that the date, that 27th of September. So we're going to say sales there. And you're going to debit it with 250. So we're going to find our total. We're going to find our balance. Carry it down. We're going to find our balance brought down. So the total there is 250 on the debit side and 250 on the credit side. So the balance carried down is going to be shown on the credit side as 250 there. Then the balance brought down is going to be shown on the debit side as 250. So Loma numero 2 reads transfer the total of the sales account in the general ledger. So as we discussed, we said that when you're making uh, entries in the sales ledger, each and every personal account of the customer is going to be debited with that amount. But when we are showing the sales account in the general ledger, the sales account is going to be credited with the total credit sales. That means that for us to show the sales account in the general ledger, we are going to credit it with the total credit sales. So the first thing that we're going to do is to put up our year, that's 2005. Then we have Kwacha there. Then we have Kwacha. Then we're going to say that first of September uh, total credit sales. So we have total credit sales and that total credit sale is going to be shown uh, on the credit side of the sales account and the total credit sales you can take it from the sales day book and the sales day book the amount that we found is 645 so we are going to show that amount so say 645 so there we can find our total and we can find our balance carried down and our balance brought down. So our balance carried down. Also our balance brought down. So the total there we are going to have 645 on the grid side in 645 on the debit side so the balance carried down is going to be shown on the debit side as 645 then the balance brought down is going to be shown on the credit side as 645 so as you can see like in the sales account the personal accounts were debited with the amounts that we are shown in the question and in the sales account in the general ledger the total credit sales is credited so you can see that the double entry system has been made we have made the double entry system we have questions please ask in the group 
So let us look at this example. The following credit transaction took place in the firms of Barnabas during the month of February for the year 2006. So the first transaction occurred on the 60th, sold 30 bunches of banana at 140 kwacha each on credit to Medimo of sales invoice 199. Then on the 23rd, sold 6 rows of white paper at 20 kwacha each on credit to Tassila half the amount she paid by cash of sales invoice 200. Then on the 26th, sold 10 meters of plastic tubing at 15 kwacha per meter on credit to toy less 5% trade discount of sales invoice 225. On the 28th, sold 20 boxes of boom to Sakala on credit at 10 kwacha each of sales invoice 230. Sakala paid 10 kwacha of cash and the remaining balance of 5% trade discount. So you are required, Roman numeral 1, to write up a sales day book for the month and post to the personal accounts. Roman numeral 2, transfer the total to the sales account in the general ledger. So the first thing that we're going to do is to prepare Banaba sales day book for the month of February 2000 and six so the first transaction uh occurred on the 60th sold 30 bunches of banana at 140 kwacha each on credit to minimum of sales invoice 199 so we're going to write down the date there so the uh, the date is 60th of uh, february then the details there we are going to write down the customer. The customer it's Milimo. So we are going to say Milimo. And uh, if we look at the transaction for Milimo, it reads sold 30 bunches of banana at 140 kwacha each. So we are going to say 30 bunches of banana at 140 kwacha each. So I've written 30 bunches of banana at 140 kwacha each. And we know that our invoice number, our invoice number, it's 199. Then the folio there, we are going to say sales ledger. And for us to find the total there, we're going to say 30 multiplied by 140. So the total, we are going to have 4,200. Let's look at the second transaction. The second transaction occurred on the 23rd. Sold six rows of white paper at 20 kwacha each on credit to Tassila, half the amount she paid by cash of the sales invoice 200. That means that for us to find our total, we are going to say six multiplied by 20 and we are going to have 120 kwacha. But before we record it in the invoice total, we have to subtract that by 60 since we have been told that half. Of that amount was paid by cash and we don't record any cash transaction in the sales deal book we only record credit sales so let us write down the debt so the debt it's a uh, 23rd of February there so we are going to say Tassila so in the details column, we're going to say six rows of white paper at 20 kwacha each. So we'll say six rows of white paper at 20 kwacha each. And we know that the invoice uh, number there, the invoice number it's 200. Then we're going to have the sales ledger. And to find the total there, we're going to say 20 multiplied by 6. And our amount there is going to be 120. But we've been given an important uh, note in the equation. We've been told that half of that amount was paid by cash. And we know that in the sales day book, we don't record any cash transaction. That means that we need to subtract 60 kwacha from 120 kwacha. So we're going to say less cash sales uh, less cash sales of 60 
60 kwacha so there we're going to say 120 minus 60 and we're going to have 60. let us look at another transaction on the 26th sold 10 meters of plastic tubing at 15 kwacha per meter on credit to toy less 5% trade discount of sales invoice 225 so for us to find this transaction first of all we are going to find like the total amount multiplying 10 meters by 15 kwacha so we're going to say 10 multiplied by 15 and we're going to have 150 kwacha but before we can record it in the invoice total we have to remove the 5% trade discount so we're going to say 5% of 150 we're going to have 7.5 that means that the total amount that we're going to record in the invoice total we're going to say 150 minus 7.5 and we're going to have 142.5 so let us record that transaction so the date there is on the 26th of February there we're going to say toy so 10 meters 10 meters at 15 kwacha per meter and we know that our invoice number there that's 225 then we're going to have our sales ledger there so we're going to say 10 multiplied by 15 we're going to have 150 and we know that there is a discount there and the trade discount that we have been given in the question is five percent so we're going to say less five percent trade discount so less five percent trade discount so we're going to say five percent of 150 the answer is seven quarter point five and for us to find the invoice total there we're going to say 150 minus seven point five the answer is going to be 142.5 then on the 28th sold 20 boxes of bone to sakala on credit at 10 kwacha each of sales invoice 230 sakala paid 10 kwacha of cash and the remaining balance 5% trade discount so the first thing that we're going to do is to find our total amount and to find our total amount we're going to say 20 multiplied by 10 kwacha of each box there so 20 multiplied by 10 we're going to have 200 and when we find out the total there we have been told that sakala paid 10 kwacha of cash and we know that we don't record cash transaction in the sales day book that means that we're going to say 200 minus 10 and we're going to have 190 and we have been told that the remaining balance we have to charge five percent so we are going to say 190 multiplied by five percent and five percent of 190 it's a uh, 9.5 so to find the total amount that's going to go to the invoice total we're going to say 119 minus 9.5 in the answer we're going to have 180.5 so to write down the date there it occurred on the 28th of february so we are going to say sakala there that's the customer so i will say 20 boxes of boom at 10 kwacha each so 20 boxes of boom at 10 kwacha each and we know that the invoice number the invoice number is 250 then we have the sales ledger there so we're going to say uh, 20 multiplied by 10 we're going to have 200 and we know that uh, Sakala paid 10 kwacha by cash so we're going to say less cash sales so less cash sales of amount of 10 that means that our answer there we're going to have 190 and we know that uh, 190 sakala was given trade discount 
of 5%. So we're going to find 5% of 190. So say less 5% trade discount. So 5% of 190 there it's 9.5. So we're going to subtract 9.5 from 190 and our answer we're going to have 180.5. Then as you can see, we are done writing down our transactions. So we can say at the end of the month, which is 28th of February there, we'll say total credit sales. So we're going to add 4,200 plus 60 plus 142.5 plus 180.5. The answer we're going to have 4,583. So this is the amount that we are going to transfer to the general ledger. So it's going to be shown in the sales account in the general ledger. So the second part of the question reads, post the personal accounts. And we have actually discussed that all the personal accounts in the sales ledger, they are going to be debited. So let us show the personal accounts so for us to write down our sales ledger we're going to start with the account for minimum so the information will be taken in from the sales day book so we're going to check the transaction in the sales day book that involve minimum and as you can see we only have one transaction that occurred on the 6th of february so we're going to write that date so we're going to say 2006 we're going to put our K there. We are going to put our K. Since we only have one transaction, and that transaction occurred on the 6th of February, we're going to say sales. And the amount is 4,200. So we're going to have balance carried down, and we're going to have balance down then we're going to say total there so our total we're going to have 200 on the debit side 200 on the credit side balance carried down is going to be shown on the credit side balance brought down is going to be shown on the debit side let us now look at the transaction for Tesla so the transaction for Tesla only appears once in the sales uh, day book that means that we're only going to show one figure so we'll say 2005 we have quacha there we have quacha that transaction occurred on the 23rd of february so we're going to say sales and we're going to debit it with 60 quacha we'll say our balance carried down balance brought down then we have our total there. So our total we're going to have 60 there on the debit side and 60 on the credit side. Balance credit down is going to be shown on the credit side as 60. Balance brought down is going to be shown on the debit side as 60. Let's look at the other customer. The other customer that we have it's toy. So if we look at the transaction for toy in the sales day book, it only appears once. That means that we're going to only show one transaction. And to do that, we're going to write down our year to uh, 2006. So our year is 2006. Mm -hmm. Take note that the year in the there is 2006. So we have our quacha there. We have our quacha. Then this transaction occurred on the 26th of February. So we're going to say sales. And we're going to debit it with that amount so the amount that is showing in the sales day book that's the amount that you put in the personal accounts and the amount we have 142.5 we're going to find our balance credit down our balance brought down and our total so to find our total there we're going to say 142.5 on the debit side and 142.5 on the credit side the balance credit down is going to be shown on the grid side as 142.5 and 
and 142.5 on the debit side as balance period down let us look at the transaction for sakala and for the transaction for sakala we only have one transaction in the sales day book that means that we're only going to record one transaction so the year is 2006 we're going to put our quacha there i'm going to put our quacha and the transaction occurred on the 28th of february so we're going to say sales and we're going to debit it with the amount that is showing in the sales deal book and the amount that is showing on in the sales deal book is 180.5 so we we'll say 180.5 so we're going to find our balance credit down balance brought down in our total so we'll say balance carry it down we have our total there we have the balance brought down so the total there we're going to have 180.5 on the debit side and 180.5 on the credit side to find that the balance carried down it's going to be shown on the credit side as 180.5 uh, on the credit side there then the balance brought down is going to be shown on the debit side as 180.5 so as you can see we are done writing down the personal accounts of customers in the sales ledger let us look at number number two number number two reads transfer the total of the sales account in the general ledger so to answer that second part of the question we have to identify total credit sales in the sales book. And the total credit sales appear on the 28th of February in the sales day book and that amounted to 4,583. That means that when we write down the sales account in the general ledger, in our details column we are going to say total credit sales and that amount is going to be placed on the credit side of the sales account. So to answer that question, we're going to say the year there is 2006 and we're going to put our quacha there and we're going to put our quacha and that appeared on the 28th of february in the sales day book so say 28th of february in the sales day book and in the details column we're going to say total credit sales so total credit sales and that amount is going to be shown on the credit side of the sales account. So we're going to say 4,583. So we're going to find our balance credit down, our total and balance brought down. So say balance carried down, total balance brought down so the total there we're going to have 4583 on the debit side and we're going to have 4583 on the credit side so to find our balance credit down it's going to be 4583 on the debit side and find our balance credit down we're going to have 4583 on the credit side so that's how you can write down uh, the sales account in the general ledger and that's how you can write down the sales deal book and that's how you can actually post the personal accounts in the sales ledger where you have questions please ask in the group thank you i'm meeting next time so this program has been brought to you by Joswale. If you want to get connected with me, you can actually check out my social media platforms. I'll meet you next time and peace and God bless.